back in me TV. Dave on Green On, Telefish Kirky, Tommy Donsa, Laura Nish, Son Green On, Imperial Gurkig, and today on the show we have a very special guest, Carl Holden. Woohoo! <laughs> what are you going to perform for us today, Carl? Um, today I'm going to do a piece called Fighting the Man. Great, take it away. All my life I'd wanted to fight the man. The trouble was, I could never find him. I asked my friends and family, neighbours and strangers, but all I got was laughter, abuse, and the occasional false address. I changed my tactics. I made a sandwich board that said, Have you seen the man? and stood on prominent street corners in the central business district of major cities. All I found were people who seemed to know where Jesus was. I didn't want to fight Jesus. I wanted to fight the man. I sent letters in the post, 12 noon by the old clock tower, no shooters, but the postman didn't know where the man was either. I sent letters to celebrities, presidents, prime ministers, and the ambassadors of 72 countries. Dear sir or madam, have you seen the man? All I got was a personalised response from a famous hip-hop artist's secretary that said, you the man. I thought about that one for a little while, until I realised I didn't want to fight myself. I wanted to fight the man. I stooped as low as manfinder.com. I went on the radio. I asked the country. And all I got was a 20-minute segment on national television called Looking for the Man. A journalist showed up on my doorstep. I started receiving fan mail. Good luck finding the man and give him one from me. People started putting up posters. I found air travel tickets in my letterbox. I went on tour to the Isle of Man, the Sultanate of Oman and Suriname because it was in there backwards. I made inspirational speeches. I talked to audiences of thousands, and I opened rock concerts with a little number called Looking for the Man. I went on Oprah. I talked to Dr. Phil. I autographed knuckle dusters, breasts, and small animals. I was beginning to enjoy myself. I bought a small island in the Bahamas, with the proceeds of my autobiography, Manhunter. I married a local girl, I had two more on the side, and I bought a yacht when the book became a movie. I invested wisely. I fired my crooked accountant the week before his arrest, and founded a small private bank. I dealt exclusively with the deposits of presidents, prime ministers, celebrities, and the ambassadors of six countries with a solid financial system. I bought a bigger yacht, an airline, and an oil field. I had my face on billboards from Manhattan to Mandalay. I was Time Magazine's Man of the Year. I was Forbes Magazine's Man of the Year. I was National Geographic's Man of the Century. I was the fucking man. Very good, excellent. So, Carl, how, how are things going for you in Cork? What, what are you off to? Um, poetry and things are great. There's uh, gigs every now and then, and uh, you can find me on Facebook uh, by putting forward slash the blunder dog after the little Facebook.com. I'm on SoundCloud as well, and uh, yeah, it's taken off, so I'm doing, doing well. <laughs> excellent, very so, yeah, good. And thanks very much for Have this. Have you job. published any poetry? Um, I've got a few things up on the internet, but nothing serious as yet. That was absolutely brilliant. Thank you so much, cool. Cahill. Thank you very much. Cheers. Check him out, Cahill Holden. And tune in again for another Balcony TV Cork. Slant Amel. Balcony TV.